Okay, so we will now continue with solving ng ating annuities. So this is another problem. A man inherited a regular endowment. Ibig sabihin, mana o 100,000 every end of 3 months for 10 years. So 3 months. So every quarter yan. Ha? Every quarter. So ilang months meron sa isang taon. So uh, you have 12 months in a year. So, ilan payments ang meron ka in total? So, you have 10 years, tapos multiply mo ng uh, 12 divided by 3 months, in every 3 months. So, that is 4, 10 times 4. So, you have 40 payments na mangyayari of 100,000 every end ng ano, quarter. So, translate ko na kagad or ano na, sinag ko na kagad yun. However, he may choose to get a single lump sum payment at the end of four years. So, in the end ng apat na taon, gusto mo nang kunin lahat ng pera mo. Okay? How much is the lump sum if the cost of the money is 14% compounded quarterly? So, meron ka ng quarterly ano, compounding. So, since this is ano, nominal pa yan, kailangan mo kunin yung actual rate. Effective rate niya. So, translate na natin, 0.14% over 4 in every quarter. Eh. So, uh, 0.14 divided by 4 in every quarter. Eh. Sa isang taon, apat na quarters. So, that is 0.035. 0.035. Okay. So, meron na tayo niyan. Ngayon, para mas maintindihan natin, what better way for us to do it is to draw a, ano, you draw a line. Cash flow diagram. Okay. So, cash flow diagram. So, at zero year, babayad ka daw ng in four years, gusto mo siyang gawing ano, lump sum. So, ito na yun. Ilalump sum mo na yung money mo. Okay. This the lump sum. So, in four years. So, one year, two years, three years. So, hatiin mo ng tingpo four. Okay. Okay. So, blah, 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 apat, apat, apat. So, 16 payments ka meron dito. Okay? Tapos, uh, meron ka pang natitira na ano? Ilan taon pa? So, you have, after 4 years, meron ka pang 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Dito. Sa 10 payments, so meron ka pang natitirang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 times 4, meron ka pang 24 payments na mayayari after this at the year end ng 10th year. Ito, year end ng 4th year. Okay? Pinaikli ko na lang. So, meron ka dito ang annuity, 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 and then annuity pa rin dito. Ngayon, itatranslate mo yung pera mo into future work. Here. Okay? That is future work. Ngayon, ito, pwede mo itong i-translate dito going back to this years. Okay? Equal din naman yung annuities lahat yan. Eh. Okay? Ayan. So, you have principal. Okay. Now, the lump sum will be dito. Lump sum. Ibig sabihin sum. O ibig sabihin the lump sum, LS, is equal to the future worth nitong unang bahagi plus the present worth ng ikalawang bahagi. Okay? Now, we will solve for the uh, ito muna, yung, yung present worth nitong part na to, ito. First one, P equal to Okay? So, present worth lang. Meron ang 24 payments. So, you have ano, 24 payments, so uh, meron kang 100,000 kada buwan daw on quarters divided by multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus yung 14% De, 14% divided by 4, 0.035 raised to 24 payments yung pangalawa, okay? Ito muna inuuna natin yung ditong part na to negative 24 divided by 0.035 okay so we solve this one 
100,000 times 1 minus 1.03 and 5 raised to negative 24 divided by 0.035. The answer is 1 million 1 million 605,000 836.76 Store natin sa value ni A. Now, meron ka ng present work. Pabalik. Okay? The second term, yung future work. The future work now will become ano? Ano ba yung uh, formula natin? The A over I multiplied by 1 plus I raised to n minus 1. Baliktad naman. So, 100,000 divided by 0.03 and 5 multiplied by 1 plus 0.035 raised to ilang payments yun? Yung nilamsa mo na 4 years. 16. 16 minus 1. Okay? Okay, 100, 100,000, 0.035. Tapos multiply natin, 1.035 raised to 16, and then minus 1. Malaki ang value nito. So that is 2 million, 2 million, 97,000, 102.971 cents. So, ang laki pala ng minana niya, no? Ship, store natin ito kay B. Now, the worth will be the lump sum na kanyang pwedeng withdrawin after 4 years will be yung F plus P. Or ito yung A plus B. So, the value will be Alpha A plus Alpha B. The answer will be 3 million in pesos, ha? 3 million 702,939 and 73 cents. That is the amount na pwede mong ilap sum, i-withdraw on the fourth year. Okay? Total. So, millionaire na kagal siya. Yan. Next problem. Next problem. A house can be house and lot can be acquired with a down payment of 500,000 pesos. Okay? 500,000 pesos down payment and a yearly payment of 100,000 at the end of each year for a period of 10 years. Eh no, at the end of each year, mayroon tayong ordinary na naman diyan. Starting at the end of 5 years. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, nag-defer ka ng 5 years bago ka nagbayad in a period of 10 years. From the date of the purchase. If the money is worth 14% compounded semi-annually, semi-annual payments, what is the cash price of the property? So, meron kang semi-annual payments. So, at the end, at the period of 10 years, Okay? So, lumipas muna yung limang taon. Okay? Papansin mo ba? Papansin mo ba? Nandito. Semi-annually. Compounded semi-annually. Okay? So, five years. From the date of the purchase. Ayan. Okay. So, i-drawing natin yung cash flow diagram. Ano daw yung cash price ng bahay? Yan. So, magdi-defer ka ng, mag-start ka ng payment at the end of 5 years. Okay. So, mag-down payment ka dyan. May DP ka dito. 500K. Tapos, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And After ng 5th year mo, magbabayad ka na ng amortization. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
six or one five into your five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so equal payments lang a a a a a Okay, kumpletuhin ko lang muna. Medyo mahirap mag-drawing gamit ang tablet. Kasi nakatingin ako sa TV. Nitignan ko yung screen. Pag, kay, pag nag-drawing. A and A. Ngayon, tingnan nyo ha. This one is an ordinary annuity. Itong buong to. Pwede ko siya i-translate ng present word. Okay, P2. And then after translating yan, itong buo, pwede ko i-translate so that deferred period ng P2. P1. Ayan. Lalabas ko yung down payment. Ayan. Cash price. Okay? P2. <clears throat> Now, isolve muna natin. Tignan nyo ha. Balik tarin ko nga ito. Dito ko na una. Eh. Okay? Dito ko na una. So, this will be the P1. This will be the P2. How would you solve for P1? P1 is coming from an ordinary annuity. O A. Okay? Yung P2, paano mo sa-solve? Di ba yung P2, pag ibinalik mo, para siyang present work. Para siyang present work. Ayan, kunin natin muna yung P1. P1. Okay? Semi-annual payments. Ayan, compounded semi-annual. If money is compounded semi-annually. I think this is compounded annually. Dapat to compounded annually, hindi semi-annually. <coughs> so, i-translate pa ba natin yung <coughs> worth ng money? No? Palagyan natin, mali yung given dito. Annually to. Annually. Hindi na semi-annually. Ah. Annually. So, P1 is 100,000 yung kanyang payments. Divided by 0.14. Annual ha. Annual na. Multiplied by 1 minus 1.14 kasi inad ko na. Tapos ilang payments ang ginawa niya? 10. Yan, 10. Negative 10. The value of money is 100,000 divided by 0.14 1 minus 1.14 raised to 10. Negative 10. Ilan? 521,000 521,611.56 pes pesos. Ngayon, ito yung ating principal na pwede nating masabi the future work nung deferred period. Okay, pabalik eh. Okay, the future work of the deferred period. Ngayon makukuha natin si P2. P2 will become, parang ito is future work. Okay? So, P1 over 1 plus I raised to yung deferred period. Ilan ba yung deferred period dyan? 1, 2, 3, and 4. Saka ka lang nagbayad. So, the deferred period X is 4. Yan. So, 4. Okay, P1. 521,611.56 divided by 1 plus 0.14. Same lang naman. Raise to 4. Store ko muna itong value nito kay A. Para hindi na magta-type ulit. So, recall A. 1.14 raise to 4. So, the value of the money, okay, P2, will be equal to 308,835.92 pesos. Now, hindi pa po yan yung sagot. Kasi ang inahanap mo dito is the cash price. And the cash price of the money, 
Okay, kinuha mo lang kasi yung future worth nito eh. The cash price of the money is the down payment plus the balance. Which is your balance? Balances is ito. Okay? So, the down payment is 500,000 plus 308,835.92. O, di add na lang natin ng 500,000 dito. So, you can now have the cash price of the house. And the cash price of the house is 808,835.92 pesos. Okay? That is for problem number 4. Last problem. What is the accumulated amount? Okay? What is the accumulated amount? Pag sinabi accumulated, my friends, it is in future work. Accumulated eh. The sum. Okay? Amount of the 5-year annuity. 5 years. Annuity paying 6,000 at the end of each year. O, di ibig sabihin ordinary annuity again, compounded annually at 15%. So, uh, future work. Okay. Ilista na natin. A over I multiplied by 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. The annuity is 6,000 pesos divided by compounded annually 0.15 Multiplied by 1 plus yung i, 0.15, raised to ilan? 5-year annuity minus 1. So, the answer will be, this is quite a short problem. Saglit lang isinasol. So, 6,000, uh, 0.15, okay, tapos uh, 1.15, Raise the fifth power, minus one. The answer will be forty thousand four hundred fifty-four pesos. Forty thousand four hundred fifty-four point twenty-nine pesos. And that wraps up yung discussion natin pagdating ng annuities. And for the last problems, I want and I will ano. Uh, I will require you to answer this one, okay, for your assignment. And that will be all for today. Have a nice day.